Hello, I'm Dr. Lou Larada, owner of Veterinary Ophthalmology Services in Nashville, Tennessee. We're here today to demonstrate intraocular pressure measurement in a small animal. We have Kate here, owned by my assistant Leslie. Tonometry is a very important aspect of our practice. We utilize tonometry multiple times every day, uh, not only with our initial diagnostic exam, but monitoring our glaucoma patients, our uveitis patients, and our medical and surgical patients as they progress through the day. Tonometry is an important diagnostic tool that should be utilized in any general medical practice. If used in an emergency situation, in a feline practice, it can be a part of a general geriatric examination or a pre-breeding exam for a purebred animal. When performing tonometry, it is important to have an able assistant who can assist in positioning the animal's head comfortably. Minimum restraint is essential. The animal should be comfortable and their collar should be very loose. Or, if you're unsure, just remove the collar. The eye care tone of that measures intraocular pressure with a rebound principle. A lightweight, sterile probe is inserted into the instrument and will gently make contact with the cornea. Tonometry with a tonovet is a very quick process. It requires no anesthetic and should cause no discomfort. It will not place excessive pressure on the eye and can be used postoperatively or in an eye that has a fragile ulcer. Intraocular pressure measurement can be very helpful in evaluating any eye that is a red eye, a cloudy eye, an eye that appears painful, an eye that's had vision loss, and part of a good neurologic examination. It is always important to measure tonometry on both eyes and compare the intraocular pressure between the eyes based on your history and clinical findings. And the other important aspect of the position is that you do keep the probe parallel, but the handle can be rotated 360 degrees for your comfort in measuring. But the important aspect is keeping the probe perpendicular to the cornea and parallel to the floor. The animal's head should be facing forward and her primary gaze should be level with the floor. And their head would be restrained very gently just by gently elevating the mandible. You do not want to put any pressure on the neck. You may need to retract the eyelids a little bit and it's best to do that further away from the eye as opposed to close to the eye. Being close to the eye will stimulate blinking and put extraocular muscle pressure on the eye and cause the third eyelid to elevate. The tone of it is designed for easy use, but as with any instrument, I would recommend becoming very comfortable with using it by exercising and examining a lot of normal animals. Using the proper restraint that we demonstrated on Kate, becoming very comfortable with the handling of the instrument and your measurement results. Perfect 10.